Uh, the Delhi Child Restoration Project uh, is working with street children in the area of central Delhi and we are in the heart of Delhi in a slum here. Uh, these people have uh, shifted from a different state in India many years ago. Uh, their parents' parents were in fact rag pickers, beggars in a different state of India and with that kind of a poor background they moved to Delhi in search of work, in search of employment, in search of basically a livelihood and uh, now they live in this slum and they've been here for a number of decades now. Adults in Delhi who are really, really poor, like the uh, communities that we are working with, they have children so that, uh, you know, the children become a source of uh, money for them, a source of livelihood for them. So a pregnant woman uh, with a uh, visible tummy uh, would make for uh, a good amount of money through begging. Uh, rag picking is basically a, a way they've invented of earning some money. So Delhi is a capital uh, city, it's a metro, there are markets, there are a lot of industrial places where you can find scrap metal, you can find uh, pieces of glass, plastic bottles. So when you get all these together, you can sell them at a certain rate. They usually make about 50 rupees or a dollar a day. Illiteracy is a major issue and they've never thought that uh, being educated is a possibility. Uh, for them, uh, life was just about uh, beginning to work as children itself and the parents sit at home and most of the children go beg or rag pick and they are the major earning members of the family. Two is a four. Two is a four. Two threes are safe. We started off education centers uh, in each area because we realized that they've been illiterate for generations and that is the first thing that needs to change. We've worked with over 2,000 children uh, through the non-formal education centers, through self-help groups, uh, through different kinds of interventions in all the areas. And, um, and, and now many of them are mainstreamed into regular school. You know, they have a right to live and they, it is possible for them to live in the way that I or you or anybody else in the city lives. So um, that's what excited them that, okay, things can change for us and we don't have to continue as rag pickers and beggar beggars for the rest of our generations. And they really accepted that idea, uh, many of the communities, and, uh, and they became very serious about sending their children to school. And, and I guess we were sort of, um, you know, a, a support to the change in their life. Why? Dead. Dead. Dead.